What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Man, oh man, am I excited for this episode. We are going to be checking out the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. This is um this is this is one of those dream cars for sure. Like this thing is absolutely beautiful. It's pretty much just a, a race car out of the box and uh, man, it's it's just it's striking. It's well put together. It's a, a fairly decent road car, but you can also just literally take it straight to the track from the dealership and uh, it's an absolute monster. So I'm excited to check this thing out. $172,000 for it right here in the uh, in the showroom. And uh, I mean, honestly, stock, these things are just so sick. It says it's got a five out of 10 customization. So I'm interested to see what kind of options we're gonna be working with. But uh, this is our first Porsche in this game. They've got some really interesting ones. They've got uh, like four or five variations of the 911. They've also got some Caymans. They've got uh, an older 911. They've got they've got all kinds of stuff. So we're definitely gonna have more of these coming down the line. But um, I figured we could uh, could kind of start out with with one of the top ones. They do have a GT2 RS, which might be a, a better choice if you're trying to go for uh, for the best stock. But uh, I think this thing has a, a bit more customization. So. I guess uh, I guess we'll see what happens. I mean, honestly, I could I could totally whip this thing just like it is. But we're gonna head back to the garage, and we're gonna super up. Oh, how'd you afford this machine? You've been holding out on me. Before I know it, this dude's gonna start charging me rent. And actually, I didn't even realize it, but the the color on the car is kind of matching our hoodie a little bit. It's a little off, obviously, but uh, it's it's getting there. So uh, I'm gonna say, should we take on the rest of Dex's missions here? We need a level 330 car to be able to take those on. So I'm gonna go through, we're gonna see if we can upgrade our performance enough to be able to get there. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to make that much of a difference. I think we will. I think we're gonna be able to be able to take those on. So that, uh, that'll be kind of interesting. I know there's three more races. I'm not sure if they keep going up past 330 or if they're all recommended for 330, but uh, we, we might be able to, to make something happen here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a, uh, what do you guys think? A dual turbocharger? Looks good. We're up to a 356. Dude, this thing is going to be a monster. I'm going to have a 12-pound tank of nitrous. We honestly may have made it too good. Like, it, we're, we're going to blow these guys out. But that's all right. I mean, I I, I like having... I like having... Uh, having good cars. I like I like pushing it to the limit. So we're going to go for, for on-road and drift handling. I'm going to go for some on-road tires. On road just like that. I like being able to get a little bit slippery in the corners. So we've got elite all the way across. We're gonna do an elite plus clutch. We're gonna do an elite plus gearbox. Uh, just kidding. I mean, we could, we're a five. What are we, what is this thing currently? Honestly, I'm not sure. We could put a six speed in there. That's gonna give us more to our top speed. Why not? It's gonna cost us $5,000. I'm, I'm down to go for it. And uh, last but not least, we've got a, uh, I'm gonna say a showcase differential. All right. So. From the performance aspect, this thing's an absolute monster. We're a level 351. Let me see how that compares. Our, our Viper was a 301. Our Polestar in the last episode was a 317. Our Lambo was a 314. Our R8 was a 350. So, uh, I mean, this thing, let me, let me see, what was the Aventador? Oh, wow, the Aventador was a 371. Okay, so this is getting up there. This takes second place of the, uh, the the best car in our garage from a performance standpoint, but uh, it's it's not quite all the way there. So let's um, let's check out some of the community wraps for this thing. I'm interested to see what people went with. Honestly, this thing is just so beautiful by itself. I really don't think I'm gonna do anything too crazy to it. Um, I I'm gonna try to keep it fairly stock. I mean, the carbon fiber looks pretty good. The light blue looks really good. I'm, isn't, that, isn't that the color that... Um, that, that Crim6 has. I'm pretty sure Crim6 has that color. I really like uh, the, the the orange color on them. I feel like orange looks good, but we did just make an orange pole star in the last episode, so we may not do that. I'm honestly kind of leaning towards the light blue. I think I'm going to go with this. Dude, that is, that is absolutely beautiful right there. And it's clean. You know what I mean? Is there anything in the back or on the sides? No, it's just, it's clean. It's got the carbon fiber hood and everything else looks, uh, looks fantastic. So it looks good to me. Let's take a look at what we can do with our, our bumpers and stuff. So we can go from this to this. That adds a little bit of carbon fiber. We've got that, which is hideous. Or we've got this. Interesting. I, I kind of like that or that. Let me see. Let me see what we can do on the fenders here. 
So the problem is, is if we go with anything carbon fiber, what's even changing here? Do you guys see what's changing? I guess it's kind of, kind of flattening out the gills a little bit. I guess we can go with that. If we go with the carbon fiber front bumper, it doesn't loop all the way around the wheel arch, but I guess none of them really do. I'm going to go with this. I like this one the best. Okay, so we've got that. We're going to have to get some carbon fiber in our side skirts. Could go, uh, shoot. I don't really, I don't really love any of these. But I guess if anything, we're going to go for this. All right, looks good. Let's see what our, our rear fenders are looking like. We can go a little bit wide body. I think, I, th I think I'm gonna stick those hips out a little bit more. I feel like that that looks pretty good. And then let's see let's see what this rear bumper is working with. Ooh, that's very different. I, I really like stock. I'm tempted to go with that just because it's so different, but honestly, I feel like the stock looks a little bit better. I just, I like, I like going for different, dude. Like I, I saw a comment the other day too that people were like, hey, don't be afraid to go different. Like you could push it too far and get ugly, but don't be afraid to go different. So I, I think I think we're gonna go we're gonna go different there. Oh, we can change our trim. Oh, we could take the GT3 RS off. Well, we we already covered up the uh, the GT3 RS logo with that new fender, so I think we are gonna take that off. We're gonna take that trim off there. Okay, looks good. So uh, tail lights. I mean, honestly, they already look pretty smoked, so I don't think I'm gonna mess with those. Spoiler, we can we can do something crazy if we want. I don't mind that. It's pretty similar to our stock one, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. It adds a couple of extra support beams in the struts, which is kind of cool. Let me see uh, what are we gonna do for exhaust. I mean, the stock exhaust is pretty dope, as is. If anything, I might go for something like that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for something like that. Let's just make these things look like like jet engines. There. All right. Looks good. Mirrors. Oh, yes, sir. I don't even have to think about it, bro. That's dope with the carbon fiber on there. Do we want to smoke out the headlights? Honestly, I don't think so. I don't think it needs it. Canards. I'm going to do the two little side canards there. Hood. Should we change the hood? We're, we're going kind of out of order here. Ooh. Which one do we like better? I feel like that one looks a little bit more aggressive. All right, we've got that. Uh, yeah, we've definitely we've definitely gone out of order. Do we have a, a hood scoop option? Sometimes, nope, we don't have that. License plate. What do we want to go for license plate? We're gonna change our our color for sure. There's a nice a nice blue one there. We'll go with that. Looks good. But what do we want to make it? This is probably kind of st stupid. Are we? Oh no! I guess we could. We this is a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> because we're poor and we can't afford it, but also at the same time, that's what a lot of people say, is it's a Porsche. No, it's a, it's a Porsche, so uh, boom. All right, I like that. This thing is starting to come together a little bit. What do we want to do for wheel color? So first of all, I we are not getting rid of these rims. It's got the, the center lock there. These things are absolutely gorgeous. We just might change up the paint a little bit. So we could go dark, or we could go a little bit more gold might be kind of interesting. Let me let me apply this to the rear and then we're going to we're going to go to the front and we're going to change the color. I actually kind of like the stock rim color, I'm not going to lie. We're going to change the front and we're going to change it to uh to all black, just like that. What do you what do you like better? I could see both. I I could definitely see the gold, but I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of a simple man. I I I kind of I just kind of like the black. I've, I've got to be totally, totally real with you guys. So I think we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go black for the front and the, uh, or the the primary and the secondary. Looks good there. And then uh, we're gonna be able to to change up the the calipers. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we go yellow. I kind of like the yellow on blue. I feel like that looks really, really nice. We can change up the discs. I don't know why. I mean, the disc doesn't really make that much of a difference, but I feel like that that looks pretty nice right there. Now, before we get to exhausts and stance and stuff like that, I did make one change to it, and that's the license plate. So I, I feel like the yellow looks a little bit better. It uh, it ties in those calipers and uh, just kind of kind of completes the look a little bit. So yeah, I think this thing is is just so beautiful. Look at the the width of those rear tires, dude. Look at that back end. That is a fat booty if I have ever seen one. So, uh, man, this, this thing is going to be gorgeous. All right, here we go. So, effects, 
Do we want, I mean, obviously we're gonna do a blue nitrous color. I don't think we're gonna put any any underglow on here. I mean, it, it could look nice if we went with the turquoise, but I mean, this this thing is, is classy. Like Porsche is, is just fine German engineering. I don't think we wanna put any underglow and, and rice it out like that. So let's see, um, let's see for the height. I mean, we, it's already kind of a race car. We don't want to lower it too much. I'm going to do a little bit so we don't get too much camber there. And then exhaust sound. This is where we have some fun. Make it a little bit more aggressive. A little more metallic, not too much. I feel like something like that sounds pretty good. All right, I think she's ready. Okay, everybody's here. Everybody, meet my baby. A Nissan Skyline GTR, R34, and a first true love. Dex saved all his bank for a year to buy her for some dude on the West Coast. Then he was too scared to take her out on the track. She is strictly for special occasions. You sure you want to put her on the line? I mean, she's beautiful. You want her? Come and get her. Just win the next three races. Easy enough, man. Here we go. The R34 on the line. That's a beautiful, that's a, a beautiful library too. So I'm, I'm excited for this. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. We're going to put this, this brand new Porsche through the paces and let's, uh, let's try to win ourselves a GTR off to a pretty good start here. We got a good, a good beat off the jump. I'm interested to see. Oh, oh, she can slide, baby. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to be a little bit careful with that. I mean, that it's it's a good thing, but it just means you gotta you gotta make sure you're sliding at the right times. But we're uh, we're off to a, a fairly good start here. Dude, this thing is so fast. I'll get you. Got a long way to go yet. We aren't really pulling pulling ahead of anybody yet, but <sighs> woo. Okay. We aren't pulling ahead of anybody, but we're, we're looking pretty good. We got a good a good start so far. Try to do a little drift around this corner. Yeah, she she gets loose, dude. This is great. Okay, I got it. I got it. Now you're in trouble. We'll see what you got, Anna. Oh man, we got this Lambo right behind us. I don't even know who that is. Anna's back in the Camaro. Lucas is in the Porsche, and we're in we're in this thing. Oh shoot. Okay, that was not good. We got somebody up here in an AMG GT as well. I will say, I don't think this thing is as impressive with a top sp All right, we got to be careful here. We got to be careful here. I thought we were going to slide a little bit more there, and we, we instead we cut short and went right through the barricades. Here we go. I think we got a straight. So I'm going to I'm gonna use this. Let's get it, babe. We got to get back up into first place about halfway through the race. See ya. Do it about 195 down the 95, baby. This is, uh, ooh, we're up into the 200s, okay. Here we go. I think we might be able to cut this a little bit short. Yes, sir. Why not? Take those shortcuts when we can get them. I mean, to be honest, I don't understand why you're putting your R34, quote unquote, your favorite car that you're even scared to drive up on the line when nobody else risked anything for you. Like, there's, there's no upside for Dex here other than just getting to race with his friends for a couple of times so that's I guess that's a true homie I don't, I don't know what else to say there we go looking good that Lambo's that Lambo's probably creeping back there a little bit man it makes me nervous these guys are are definitely not slow I mean this thing feels pretty good I think we just kind of have to get used to it a little bit it's got oh no Trev we're gonna be fine. It's got a, a little a little bit of grip. It does like to get sideways. You just gotta find that line, you know what I mean? Like sometimes we're sliding when we don't mean to, or when I mean to slide more, it doesn't slide enough. Straightening out, it kind of has, if I don't win this, I don't care who does. has a, a few issues, but we're okay so far. Dude, this Lambo is definitely keeping up with us. We gotta be very careful. Oh, shit. See what I mean? Like it, it just, it, it doesn't quite turn like I want it to. And that's 100% my fault. Like I just, I need to get used to it. But when I want to turn a lot, it doesn't. 
And when I want to turn a little, it starts to slide. Right? There's just this weird balance we've got to get down, but... First race, ooh, $63,000. I think that's the, the biggest prize pool we've ever had. Let's go, dude, that's dope. All right, so one race down, two more to go. J Storm, uh-oh, we're gonna be taking this thing into uh, some inclement weather. Sounds good to me, this is uh, one, of, one of a couple more races we have to win, so here we go, we're gonna have to be a bit careful. I'm not gonna use our nitrous. Sounds good, bro. I'm not gonna use our nitrous off the bat because we have big turns and wet roads, so I feel like that's a, a recipe for disaster. We do have a straight here, so why not? YOLO, here we go. Woo! Just try to catch up to first place. First is off to a really good start here. I don't know how we're gonna, how we're gonna end up. I guess we're kinda starting to catch him. Gotta be careful. If we were already worried about the turns, we gotta be even more worried about it in the slick conditions. Here we go, baby. See, like, I don't, I don't think we can turn, oh, that, see, that was nice. I was gonna say, I don't think we can turn this sharply without starting a slide, which previously I wasn't really ready for, but we're starting to, to do a little bit better here. Okay. Shoot. Oh, sorry about that, Mr. Huracan. I know that, I know that hurt a little bit. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's all right, girl. Don't worry about it. Your boy's gonna get it done for you. Woo! Yeah, this thing, uh, it's interesting. It, I, I honestly really like it. I feel like once you get it down, you guys will notice a lot of times I'm like, Okay, I think I got you figured out now. Hold on, we gotta pay attention during this nitrous use. I feel like a lot of times I'm kind of, you know, going a little bit too far and then having to correct. I feel like once I got used to it and I could I could do exactly what I wanted to, this, this would be like the perfect car. It's got the right amount of grip, the right amount of slide, the right... It's a little slow on top speed. I mean, it gets up there, but it's just like that mid-range acceleration is a little low, but it, uh, it definitely definitely gets the job done without a doubt. Here we go, this guy. Meanwhile, he's trimming the hedges and taking out foam poles and stuff. We're going to go ahead and pass him. You know, I, I don't know about that one, Chief. Woo. Dude, that nitrous is no joke. Oh my goodness. See, see like that turn back there, we I really didn't want to slide. We ended up going into a bit of a slide, but we're, we're okay. Ooh, see, even like that right there, like, I feel like it teeters on the edge, you know what I mean? If you can't drive these mountain roads, then you're just not a driver, Anna. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to say, sorry to break it to you. Ooh, this was, this was not good. Talk some trash and, and get hit, Trev. That was that was stupid. Woo. It's the AMG GT behind us. Gonna have to have some nice drifts if we're gonna be able to pull this out. Both of those were literally flawless. Could not could not make up better ones. Woo! Get around this thing. Oh, shucks. Shikes. We're okay. I'm gonna get over through here and then we're gonna activate our nitrous. We're 80% of the way there. Let's see if we can stay on the road without sliding off. We've got a sharp right hand coming up here. We're trying to build up some more nitrous. Dude, see, we're we're starting we're starting to kind of get used to it. Like we're touching distance of that skyline, so you know, wash your hands. We're looking pretty good. Did you just tell me to wash my hands? I guess that's good advice. I'm not trying to get sick or anything. Almost got our nitrous back up. Looks like we've got a little bit of a turn up here though, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cool it on the nitrous for a minute. Oh my goodness, dude. That got a little bit sketchy there, but we got it done. That's win two out of three. These races are intense. I wish all the races could be this intense, could be this close, could be this nerve wracking. This is like the perfect level car performance level for this. Like we're, we're kind of over leveled against these guys and we're really, we're really happy to try. That, that shows the difficulty here. So we've got one more race to go. This is it. 
the final race Columbia here we go we win this thing in the the R34 is ours I'm excited I just still can't believe that he put his skyline up for grabs when there was literally nobody else that was betting anything. He's just like, yo, boys, come on, let's go have a good time. I guess I guess he's a, uh, a good friend. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. So here we go. We're off to a good start. This is a nice straight road. It looks like as soon as I say that, we've got a bit of a curve coming up. But it's not much of one. As long as we don't activate that sliding, we're going to be okay. See, dude, oh my gosh, we almost started sliding right there. That's the only issue I have with this thing. It gets it gets a little a little sketchy in situations like that, but overall, we're looking pretty good. How long do we have till the next straight? I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Here we go. This is probably really stupid. Okay, I'm pretty sure you cheated somewhere. Oh, that's way, 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 way sharper than I thought it was going to be. Oh, my goodness. We were off to a good start, though. And by the time this nitrous refills, we should be on to our next straight. I've got a feeling this might be our, our most dominating performance yet. Oh, yes, dude. I don't know what went wrong back there. I'm telling you guys, this thing has the makings to be one of our best cars. You just got to figure out the kinks. Okay. See, you can't really, you can't really accelerate while turning very hard otherwise it it kind of puts you in a, a bad spot but not uh not too bad we have a decent straight here i'm gonna go for it let's try to build build back up on this lead a little bit one third of the way through the race everything seems to be going to plan we still do have that one little thorn in our side back there hanging out ready to strike as soon as we make a mistake so that good old German engineering baby I'm tempted in these races to, to cut off and go through the gas station to be able to get another thing of nitrous but I think we're I think we're gonna hold off for now I think we're gonna be okay we're about to re-earn another one plus we've got another corner coming up just sitting at a steady 200 miles an hour here looks like we've got a, a decent straight so I'm just gonna activate the afterburners Woo! Getting a little close to the edge there, fella. Yeah, this thing is is fast, but it's it's not R8 fast. It's not a vent store fast. It's it's not it's not our our fastest vehicle, that's for sure. But I would say it's probably our best our best cornering vehicle in certain situations. You gotta be in you gotta be in the right situation. But like, oh my gosh, stop it, dude. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful right there. We are dominating these guys. I really... Oh, shoot. That was probably not our, our best time to use it, but if you got it, use it. Otherwise, you're going to lose it. I like how all these other races were really close, and then as soon as we got a handle for what this thing was like, just absolutely, absolutely blew these guys out of the water. He's over a 1,000 yards behind us and growing. Up to, up to almost 1,500. That's how much faster we're going than him. That is crazy. Woo! Little style point. I mean, I already got one in the garage. I bet it's a little bit faster than his, but let's be real. His uh, his his looks pretty good. Although I do kind of like our our Bayside Blue, man. You you can't you can't go wrong with that. Well, it's a good thing we built up a lead here because that was atrocious. Let's get back up to speed. This is a long race here. Oh, we're going to be racing back back by our primary garage, dude. That's kind of cool. Oh, hello. Just a little beauty mark in the back bumper. I mean, I'm, I'm not letting up, brother. I'm sorry about your luck, but... Uh, Shouldn't have put it up for grabs, man. This is a fun one. I really, I, dude, I kind of hope we get some story DLC. Well, I guess I'm not winning this one. But we'll I don't, I don't want to get my ho hopes up because I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's ever happened. But even if it was just like little, like just get these guys in the the 
the, the voiceover booth and just give us a couple voiceover lines and, and a couple themed missions for prizes. You know what I mean? Like this, this is so fun to actually have something to race for, like a prize at the end of the tunnel. You know what I mean? Boom. And that's it. It's all over. That's how we do it, baby. So we've now got two R34s in our garage. I don't know what we're going to do with them both, but uh, that was that was pretty good. We just got a new R34. We got close to, to $200,000 in prize money. And uh, we've also got this beautiful new GT3 RS. So hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I'm going to see you guys later. There she goes. Uh, goodbye, beautiful skyline. Dex, our... Are you okay with this? Consider her a graduation gift. I've taught you all I can. I'll take her to the garage for you. Just treat her right.